it is aiming to increase the temperature of either the cancer area or the whole body. And that's what the two types of hypothermia comes in. Local hypothermia, which is aiming to increase the temperature of the cancer area and treating that, or the whole body hypothermia where we're increasing the core body temperature to a certain level. Local hypothermia is considered as an anti-cancer treatment because by science and by scientific proof and evidence, it showed that cancer cells cannot survive in a temperature which is above 40 degrees. So this is a physical treatment where the patient is lying down on the bed and the machine or the bed is increasing the temperature of, for example, we're talking about lung cancer, it's increasing the temperature of the lungs between 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. And here we are talking about the intratumoral temperature, not the skin. The skin is always protected, it's always safe, and it doesn't cause any burns on the skin. And healthy cells could tolerate uh, a higher degree than this, for example, up to 50 degrees without being harmed. So it's fully safe on all the organs, or fully safe on all the healthy cells, but cancer cells cannot tolerate this temperature. So it has the ability to kill cancer cells directly. It has the ability to deliver the treatments into the cancer area because of the heat. It has the ability to increase the efficacy of also conventional treatments as chemotherapy and radiotherapy as well. And that's where hypothermia came at the beginning to enhance the efficacy of, of the, the conventional treatments and then it was found to have its own effect on the cancers as well. So it also reduces the resistance of the cancer cells towards the treatments, either conventional or integrative. Whole body hypothermia, this is, it is considered more as an immune treatment and a supportive treatment. Any one of us who gets an infection, they tend to have a fever. The fever means that the immune system is being activated in order to fight this bacterial infection or to fight the virus. So what we're doing here is we are increasing the core body temperature and initiating an artificial fever, which allows the immune system to be activated. The again, it is a machine, it's a physical treatment where the patient usually is laying down and is being exposed to a certain temperature or a certain heat and being monitored step by step with their vital signs, with the temperature until we reach a certain point and then the patient is being grabbed to keep this temperature and keep the immune system activated as much as possible. And another effect of this is that the cancer becomes under stress because of this heat. We usually go up to 38.5 or 39 degree and the patient is staying maybe between two to three hours under this temperature. This makes the cancer becomes also under stress and not being able to fight. A lot of studies and a lot of research where came from Germany, where the machine was originated from, showed that combining vitamin C, for example, with whole body hypothermia could have a greater effect against the cancer cells. One more thing on the whole body hypothermia that it was found that it could treat depression in cancer patients. So it's also helping in a common side effect for cancers. And usually patients, the next day, they feel much better. They had a very good sleep at night on the day that they have the whole body hypothermia. Local hypothermia, we aim to do it every day and it takes usually an hour. Whole body hypothermia, it's usually done once or twice a week maximum because it could be a long treatment and the patients could be exhausted during this treatment.